Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another video from Skilling Career Series. Today we have an interesting question from RJ Singh. Uh, this was posted on our YouTube channel. So RJ Singh's question is very simple, right? So if you have a low percentage or GPA, right, 67% or you know 6.0 GPA, right? then how do I get a job in a tier one company, right? Especially if it's a design based job. Now, for those of you who don't know what a tier one supplier or a tier one uh, firm is, there is a separate video that we made on the topic. I have put the link in the description box below, right? But to keep it short, uh, you know, tier one company, tier two company and tier three companies are primary classifications in general. Uh, tier 1 is much closer to the uh, automaker itself. So, for example, if there is Ford, Tier 1 uh, companies, they basically supply components for the automakers, right? So, if you take a look at the technical work, it's usually really high and it's really wide in OEMs. Tier 1 companies, they do a lot of excellent projects and there's a lot of technical depth. When you come to Tier 2 and Tier 3, there's still technical depth, but there's not a wide range of projects that you work on, okay? Now, all right, coming back. Now, if you are a mechanical engineer and if you want to get a design based job, then considering your GPA, these are the primary classifications, especially in automotive industry or aerospace industry within India. You can basically get into the plastic sector or the sheet metal sector. These are the primary classifications or these are the classifications where more job openings are available. Right. And if you look at the tools, uh, you need to be very familiar in CATIA V5 and NXCAD and you need to have or you need to showcase demonstrated work experience in designing plastic or sheet metal components. This is very crucial because when you go and apply for these jobs, there is going to be something called as a tool test. A tool test is where you go for an interview, they give you a computer and they say, hey, here's 45 minutes, design this component, right? So you actually uh, cannot go there and try to crack it on the fly. There's no way. You need hands-on practice where you have worked on at least 100 plus hours on designing plastic and sheet metal components only then you will be able to crack these interviews okay so that being said here is my advice for you rj singh given that your gpa or percentage is low try for tier 2 and tier 3 companies now what's going to happen is uh, when you go and work for these companies you are going to be there for at least two to three years minimum right you will gain a lot of experience make sure that you're working on challenging projects right when you work on challenging projects, you're building experience. Now, initially you might be paid a bit low, but that's fine, right? After two to three years, you get the opportunity to go back to tier one or even the OEM itself, right? So this is basically my advice for you and I hope you found it useful. Now, RJ Singh, it would be great. Uh, you know, you can if you can share this video with your friends as well, uh, tell them about Skilling and uh, uh, you know, that's basically it. For others who are watching this video, if you are a mechanical engineering student or even if you are working somewhere and if you need personal guidance regarding your career, all you need to do is three simple things. Like this video, comment and subscribe. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.